2021 is a very productive year for me in building boats. At the beginning of the year, I planned to build three to four boats, but by September I finished five boats, and they are all functionally good, usable, and I don't have a failure this year. I have learned quite a few things in building these boats, and I'm going to share with you what I've learned in this series. Hopefully, you will find that interesting. And maybe you can leverage what I've learned in building your next boat. I finished building the boat in March, but because of the cold weather, I wasn't able to test it until end of April. The boat is light, under 15 pounds, easy to build, and can be assembled in two and a half minutes. The basic design of this boat is evolved from Gen 12 and 14, but I try to. Experiment with different folding methods for transportation. I spent the first three weeks of May in designing and building this Gen 16. This canoe is 14 and a half feet long, and can carry a load of 450 pounds. And the boat weighs about 30 pounds, so it's not really that heavy. And it takes about seven to eight minutes. To assemble the boat, I use this boat for my fishing trip, and I can stand on it without worrying about tipping over. And it is very stable. The design is based on my Gen 15. Basically, I extended the middle part of the boat. The changes are to the gunnel design because the boat is longer. I need extra st stiffening. So that the boat will maintain its rigidity, especially at the center, and I also fold this bow in a more rectangular shape, better than my Gen 15. In building this boat, I did come across a major hiccup related to the fusing of the cropless, which I have to redo, and this cost me an extra of five hours. But I was able to finish the bow and test the bow by the end of the month. This is the longest foldable boat I have ever built. I like this boat because it's easy to handle, and also there are plenty space. The only thing I really want to improve on is the way to fold the boat together for transportation, because I use recycled cordless, and I couldn't build it the way I really want to. I picked up this boat building hobby a few years ago. And I purchased a hundred sheet of ten feet by five feet cordless. Therefore, almost all the boats I built are under ten feet. This is good because I can avoid paying the water access permit. Because of this Gen 16, I bought the permit. Therefore, next year I will build boats longer than ten feet. The Gen 11 boat I built last year was a failure. But I learn from it, and I also need a boat so that I can bring it with me for my camping trips. And I want a boat that will not sink. And if I fall into the water, I can easily climb back into the boat. Therefore, I spend two weeks in building this boat. I did water test a few times, just be sure that it can handle the windy condition at the Pacific coast. It is relatively a fast boat for a boat that is less than ten feet. It is very responsive and with good tracking, even though the wind gusts to over twenty miles an hour. There's plenty deck space, and also very stable. And I'm sitting higher, so it's very easy to put the net, and it's very good for crabbing. I have to transport the boat on my car top rack, even though I haven't got into any accident. But I still don't feel very comfortable. I need to think of some way to further modularize the boat so that I can fit the boat inside the car. And this led to my design of Gen 18, which I explored a fold hinge design. I deviated from the conventional ways of building a foam-core boat using fiberglass, 
or Pullman's fiberglass. Instead, I wrap the foam core with chloroplast, and it makes the building process much faster. And cost is probably about the same when compared with Pullman's fiberglass. I used chloroplast to make a two feet wide hinge to hold two parts of the boat together and it works really good. The hinge is very solid. I expect a boat being built using this method will last for many years. And if there's any tear on the chloroplast, it will be very easy to repair. Now I have more proven ideas to build a better boat for my camping trip next year. And I will share the concept of that boat in my future video. I designed this boat to be able to fit inside my small car. Therefore the length is limited to around 9 feet 7 inches long. The main body, the deck and the pontoons add up to 35 pounds. Then I have to add the pedal, the pedal drive, the chair and also the cart and total the to 58 and a half pounds which is a bit heavier than I would like to see. The weather was wonderful in September and I realized that I still have more time to build another boat. Therefore I modified the basic design of Gen 9 Plus and come up with Gen 19. And this is a 10 feet long Crow Plus foldable boat for two people. It can handle 300 pounds easily. This is a very successful design and it weighs at 19 pounds. And I believe I can trim two more pounds if I am willing to spend a little bit more money to buy the aluminum tubings instead of the PVC pipes. It is also a very easy boat to build. If I build this one again, it will take me between 12 to 14 hours. And when folded, the size is similar to ORU inlet, so it is very portable. I can think of only a few minor improvements to this design, which I will discuss in my future video. These kinds of boats are not that difficult to build. Between March to September in six months, I built a total of five different boats. In average, for a simpler boat, such as Gen 15 and Gen 19, those, if I build it again, will take me between 12 to 15 hours. For the more complex the one, like the 17 and 18, because there are more components, it will take me probably between 20 to 24 hours. So when I built it the first time, it took me a easily 40% more because while I was building it the first time, I have to solve some of the design problems. In my next video, I will go into more detail about the learning by building all these boats. If you find this video interesting, please give me a like, tell your friends about it too. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.